birds and animals, not for little girls. Do you remember me telling you that? You're not a monkey or a bird, are you? You're a very naughty little girl. You should have been in bed and asleep. And what were you doing? Tell me, Roberta. I climbed a tree. Yeah, and ruined your nightgown. Such a pity. Now I must punish you. Naughty girls must be punished. Boys climb trees because boys are animals. What are you, Roberta? Are you an animal or a little girl? I'm a boy. What, what did you say? I found this book last night and it had pictures of statues in it. And there was one of a girl and a boy. I'm a boy, not a girl. You're so wicked, Roberta, that sometimes my heart despairs. And I think I shall have to put you in an orphanage. Have you got that book? Then bring it to me. Quickly, Roberta. Bring it here. Yes, Aunt Bill. Let's never read anything without asking me first. This is an evil book and full of lies. You are a girl. Aren't you, Roberta? Tell me. Say, I am a girl, Aunt Belle. Say it. I am a girl, Aunt Belle. Because boys are animals. Because boys are animals. And I am not an animal. I am a human being. And I am not an animal. I am a human being. Now you may go to bed. You'll be punished in the morning. Can't I know now? Please. Tomorrow, dear. Now say good night. Good night, Aunt Bill. Roberta. Tell me again from your heart. That's what matters. What do you really and truly believe? Are you a boy or a girl? I'm a, I'm a girl, Aunt Bill. looking for work. Mm. Well, they're building a motorway up towards Oxford. <laughs> no, I tried that. They don't want any foreigners. I'm looking for something in farming, harvesting, or anything like that. Wait a minute. Bill? Yeah? There's a bloke here looking for work. You gonna have a word with Bill. Thanks. What kind of work? Oh, almost anything. Can you lay bricks? Well, I can learn. Take this to Miss Weston. What is it? Brandy. She always wants the most dearest. She can afford it. Nothing but the best for her. Do you want to try? Oh, yeah. Don't mind if I do. 
Say, who's this Miss Weston? Name sounds familiar. Is she a writer or something? Nah, lives in the house up the road. Keeps herself to herself most of the time. I'll bet you I can beat the last score you made. I just made 95. Well, I'll bet you 10 shillings I can top that. Okay, you're daft. All right. She lives alone, you say? Yeah, except for her niece. Hey, if he did that on purpose, Jack, you're in trouble. Well, that's a hundred. You owe me ten shillings. I should have known better. Thanks. Thanks for the game. hasn't kept you from oversleeping. Hurry up and get dressed. I'm sorry, Aunt Belle. I'll be as quick as I can. Just a moment, Roberta. Haven't you forgotten something? Can't it be mended? Oh, no, dear. Really beautiful things can't be mended or replaced. That's a lesson you must learn. You love Margaret very much, don't you? There may be other parakeets, perhaps, but there's only one Margaret. Isn't that so? Of course it is. Now, so that you'll never forget the naughty things you didn't say yesterday, I want you to open the cage and set Margaret free. It's a pity, but you've got to learn to behave. Open the cage. She's so little, she won't know how to take care of herself without me. And the wild birds will kill her. Please don't make me. It'll be you that killed her, Roberta. Remember your puppy? We had to get rid of him because of your naughtiness. And now you'll be destroying Margaret just as you destroyed your nightgown. Why don't you beat me? I'd much rather be beaten. One doesn't beat, little girls. Now open the cage. I'm waiting. Now, dress yourself and come down to breakfast. And don't dawdle. Margaret. Please be careful. Your well, porridge is quite cold, Roberta. You may clear the table now. We'll put the porridge aside. Perhaps you'll be hungrier by lunchtime. Oh, be careful. I sometimes think you don't realize how lucky you are living with me in this house. Not a bit grateful for all the things I do for you. Sometimes I wonder whether you really love me at all. Oh, I do, Aunt Belle. Where would you be if you weren't living here? You remember? I'd be living in an orphanage. Hmm? And who lives in an orphanage? Orphans live in orphanages. What's an orphan? An orphan is someone who doesn't have any mother or father. Because... Because? They've died. That's right. Oh, be careful with that china, dear. So, why aren't you in an orphanage? Because I live here with you. Not quite, no. Because I took you in, in spite of the wicked and terrible things your father and mother did to me. Who was your mother, dear? My mother was your sister, Claire. Younger sister, Claire. Go on. My father was called Charles, Charles Fowler, and he was a wicked man. And they went to live abroad because of the bad things they did to you. And when I was a baby, God punished them. And you promised God that you would look after their baby girl. Girl, Roberta. I would never have let a boy come to this house. Be 
careful not to prick your finger. And be sure you make your stitches just as small as mine, see? Right now. There you are. Oh, pick it up, Roberta. You won't be able to see if you hold it all the way down there. That's right. Morning, ma'am. What do you want? I heard in the village that you might be looking for someone to help around in the garden, so I came by to see you. Who are you? It uh, seems you need help more than you know. I tried to open up the back gate and the latch came off in my hand. It seems this place needs some attention. Windows need cleaning. And uh, it could use a fresh coat of paint. I don't need any more help, thank you. Well, I hate to disagree with a lady, but you may not feel you want any help, but you sure need it. Will you please leave? Yes, ma'am, but I wish you'd let me show you what I can do first. Kind of as a free sample. How would you like me to build a pretty doll's house for the little lady? A few pounds for material, and I can have a pretty house by this evening. Roberta, take your sewing into the study. Hello, Roberta. Would you like a piece of candy? Can I help, Bill? I've told you before, sweets ruin your teeth. Now do as I say and go and finish your sewing. Would you like a piece, Miss Weston? Roberta? How did you know my name? I made some inquiries. By the way, my name is Dre. If you don't leave at once, I'll telephone the police and have you... have you removed. Well, get out now. And before you go, take this latch and put it back on the door where you found it. I'll be seeing you. Aunt oh, Belle? Yes, dear? I finished that hem and you said to show you when I'd finished. Do you want to see? Well, give it to me. Not very good, is it? Fetch my scissors. I don't think you can have been concentrating very hard. You're a very clumsy little girl sometimes, aren't you? There now, you'll have to start again and do another one. Fetch me a light bulb. Yes, Aunt Bell. See what happens when you don't pay attention to your work? Now, run along and start again. You can bring it to me when you've finished. Pay attention to your work. You hear? Ah! Huh? It's my Auntie Belle. She's dead. Dead? Where? She's all right. Probably just stunned. Can you get up? Easy. <gasps> oh. Take it easy, Miss Weston. I think you've had a bad fall. What are you doing here? Well, I heard the kid screaming for help and came in here and found you on the floor there. I see. Well, thank you for trying to help, but I'm perfectly all right now. There's no need for you to stay. Well, like it or not, the kid couldn't have handled it by herself. Where's my handbag, Roberta? <gasps> Let go of me. Yes, ma'am. I could have taken everything out of there while you were down there, you know. There you are. Now, please leave. Easy. Well, it looks like you sprained your knee. I wouldn't do that again if I were you. 
I was looking at your knee because it's twisted. It also happens to be pretty. I guess I'll have to stay here a few days to help you out. No. I'm perfectly all right. You see? Very well. You can... You can stay in the gardener's room. Just for a few days. You'll get your food and the room and a couple of pounds. I shall expect you to work for it. Thank you, Miss Weston. Would you like me to carry you to your room? No, thank you. Well, if you need me, I'll be around. Aren't you supposed to be studying or sewing or something? Aunt Bell said I could play for half an hour. <sighs> Don't you have any friends? Aunt Bell says the little girls in the village aren't very nice. <laughs> I could give her an argument about that. <laughs> What's you doing now? Well, if I explained it to you, you wouldn't know anyway. <clears throat> be very careful up there. There's a, a lot of oil and stuff. Now, look what you've done. My dress. She's going to punish me. Oh, come on, that's all right. You've got other clean dresses. Roberta? Just look at your dress. Go up to your room. Oh, no. Now, wait a minute. That wasn't her fault. You got no right to blame her. I have no right. Well, she was just having a little fun. What's wrong with that? You could hardly be expected to give me the answer to that. Now, please get the, the car ready. I have to be at the doctor in ten minutes. I didn't think we'd make it. What's wrong with the car? Almost everything needs fixing. I thought I was employing you because you're good at fixing things. Oh. Some things, yes. I'm perfectly all right on my own. As you wish. I have some shopping to do afterwards. Be here with the car in two hours, please. Okay, but I don't think we'll make it home. Not in the shape it's in. Well, in that case, take it to the garage and have it repaired. I'll take a taxi home. How about me? You can walk, can't you? While you're here, I'd like you to get your hair cut. Well, that's a luxury I can't afford. Here's five shillings. You're spoiling me. seen what you did. You gonna turn me in? I don't hand blokes over to the coppers. What if I robbed a bank? What's it to me what you do? Then why'd you stop me? Well, I got a free afternoon. <laughs> Sorry, sugar, I'm busy. But uh, what about later on? You know where Miss Weston's place is? Mm -hmm. Back door, 10 o'clock. Take a bus.
Roberta, honey. What are you doing there? I was naughty. Your aunt locked you in here because you were naughty? Yes. Does she do that often? Look, come on. Come on. Come on. Look. How old are you? Seven. Well, you'll be going to school pretty soon and everything will be okay, right? Aunt Belle says I'm never going to school. She says she's got to watch me. Watch you? Well, she's not watching you now, is she? Look, um, would you like to play a game? Hmm? Make you feel better? How about hide and seek? Yeah? Yes, please. Okay. I'd like that. Why don't you go hide? I'll count to ten. And then I'm going to come and find you. One, two, three. Don't come yet. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here I come. Ready or not. Fee, fi, fo, fum, I smell the blood of an Englishman. Here I come. Now, where could she be? I'm getting warmer, Roberta. You in there? No. Ah. When I find you, I'm gonna eat you up. I'm getting warmer, Roberta. And warmer, and warmer, and warmer. <laughs> <laughs> Now, where are you? Where did she go? Ah, I see you. Well, come on out of there. You're getting wet. Come on, Roberta. Come on. You're soaking. Come on, we'll change your clothes. Caught me. Drake! Drake! Yeah? I can't reach. Can you help me? Oh, sure. Here we go. Let's see now. Where do you keep the other dresses? Over there? All right. I'll get him for you. Well, how about that? No, you don't like that, huh? Well, <laughs> that look better? Yeah? There you go. If you need any help, just uh, let me know. Hey. How long have you lived with your aunt? Since I was a baby. And she's always treated you like a girl? Yes. And you've always believed you're a girl? Yes. Well, you're not. says I'm a boy. He says boys have short hair. Drake says. When did he say this? This afternoon. He came back. He said I was a boy, not a girl. And you believe him? Very well. If you think you're a boy, we'll have to treat you like one. Go and get me a jug of milk and a saucer. down on the floor, Roberta. Drake says my name's really Robert Aunt Bill. Oh, Drake says a great deal too much, dear. You're quite convinced you're a boy, are you? You don't think it's possible that Drake could have made a mistake? No, Aunt Bill. In that case, you're also an animal. 
and must be treated like an animal. There's your supper, Robert. Get down and drink it. needs fixing. You know what you've done. No, what? As a result of your stupidity and thoughtlessness, Roberta is terribly upset. What's that got to do with me? You don't seem to realize. In one careless moment, you've destroyed the effort of seven years. I'm trying to save that child. From what? From becoming a vile, coarse animal like her father. I think I want her to grow up like him. What was so terrible about him? He was brutal. Of course. And when my sister got engaged to him, she became like him. But you know, when I saw that child just now, I thought I could see the same thing happening. I saw the same coarse male arrogance. In a seven-year-old child? From now on, I want you to leave that child alone. You're not to talk to her unless I am present. I intend her to grow up as a fine young woman, and I won't stand any interference. A fine young woman? Your niece is a boy, Miss Weston, and you can't change that. What do you think's going to happen when he grows up? Oh, you're so stupid. Stupid! Stupid! You're sick! You hate men so much that you're trying to destroy that kid because he's a boy. A male. And you find that so admirable? Look at yourself. You're a tramp, a beggar, going around living off any woman fool enough not to see through you. Well, maybe you're right. But at least I get my kicks in a normal way. Not by tearing the kid apart, like pulling the wings off a fly. What do you think would happen if I told the police what was going on here? You wouldn't dare. Maybe I wouldn't, and maybe I would. Depends. What's in it for me? You wouldn't dare. Your passport indicates that your work permit has expired. Doubt he's on the run from some sordid little crime or other. One phone call. I'm sure the police would come straight round to talk to you. That is, if you would like to talk to them. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Miss Weston. Not with what I've got on you. On the other hand, I'm prepared to be generous. If you do as I say, I'm willing to pay you 40 pounds a month. And, uh, give you your bed and board. Hmm? It's a deal.
wish I didn't have to go home. Well, you don't have to, not as far as I'm concerned. What are you doing? Well, you said you had to go home. My mum's waiting up. What's your mum like? Why? <laughs> I was just thinking, if she's anything like you, well, I think I'll go home with you. <laughs> What's the time, then? Oh, it's getting late, baby. You better get your roller skates on. Why do you stay in a dump like this? Well, um, I, I don't have any choice. Aren't you uh, worried about your mum? Surprise. You filth. Bringing a woman into my house. Now look, I'll do exactly as I wish, here or anywhere else. Get out. Now, this minute. If you don't leave at once, I'll call the police. I wouldn't do that if I were you. You're all alike. You're just the same as him, like Charles. No control, no decency. I came to this room one night to say goodnight to Charles. But Claire was with him, there, on that bed. It was disgusting. I threw them both out. She was just as bad as him. My own sister. Get out! Get out now! Okay. That's the way you want it, huh? your present. I have to be leaving now. Something you can talk to. I've never had a frog. What's he called? Well, he doesn't have a name. Why don't you name him? I'll call him Drake. <laughs> That's fine. Look, I have to be going now. Do you have to go away? I'm afraid so, Bobby. Take me with you. Well, I can't do that, but, but I'll try to come back as soon as I can. In the meantime, you just take it easy and everything will be okay.
Hello, is this the police? I'm not sure if this is the right department, but... Well, do you know where Miss Weston's house is? Never mind who this is. The kid that lives there is being treated worse than an animal. Yeah, but... More than that. Well, she's doing something that's really sick. Well, she makes the kid... You seem to have come to your senses, Roberta. And perhaps we can dispense with this. <laughs> we'll keep it handy, just in case. Did you sleep well? Yes, Aunt Bill. Give me that. I'll put it in the wardrobe. That's not where it's kept. I'll put it away. I said I'll do it. Go and have your breakfast. Go along. Go along. Did anyone come to see you last night, Roberta? No, Aunt Bell. Not your friend Drake? You're a liar. A deceitful little liar. Why do you lie to me? Why? Tell me. I didn't lie. He came back last night, crept back, and stole my bracelet. Like the thief he is. He didn't come to see you, did he? Oh, no, of course not. He left, and he's never coming back, never. He is, he is. He said so last night. Ah, so you did lie to me. You did see him. You thought he was your friend, didn't you? But he didn't care for you. He's never cared for you. Never. He only came here to steal. It's not true. He's coming back. Oh, no, he's not. That's the way men are. You can't trust them. They always betray you. Never forget that. You believed him. You admired him so much that you lied to me. I must punish you for that. What should we do? I know. Go into the hall and look on the table. Go on. Drake gave you that when he came to see you last night, didn't he? Give it to me. Do as you're told. You must not lie to me. When you see what I'm going to do, I'm sure you'll never, never lie to me again. Put that on the dining room table. Good morning, Miss Weston. Come in, Sergeant Williams. Do you have some news for me already? Well, not exactly. This man, Stephen Blake. Yes. Well, I phoned London and passed on all you told me. Seems he's known to them already. He's a criminal. I was sure of it. He hasn't been convicted of anything, not yet. I just want to question him about a couple of cases of petty theft. Roberta? This police officer says that your friend Drake has stolen things from other people, too. You're suspected, miss. Hello, Roberta. Curtsy, dear. Do you mind if I ask your niece a couple of questions, miss? Tell me something, Roberta. Do you like living here? Good. Doing lots of lessons. What lesson do you like best? Hide and seek. That's not a lesson, dear. What other games do you like? Have you got any toys you'd like to show me? No? No dollies. Put it 
do you do with yourself all day? Do you play in the garden? Do you run races? I climb trees. You do? I can almost climb to the top of the oak tree. In a pretty dress like this. It's easy. Would you like to see? Yes, I would, Roberta. Later on. You know, there's a very nice school in the village. My little boy goes to it. How old is he? Ooh, about your age. Would you like to go to school with him? The child is far too delicate to go to school, Sergeant. Really, I don't understand what all this is about. I thought you'd come to report about this man, Blake. Don't worry, we'll find him soon enough. Thank you, Sergeant. Then that's all, isn't it? No. This report we received... It says that Roberta wasn't a little girl at all. She was a boy. If you have any doubts on the matter, you'd better ask the child. Aunt Bell? Yes? Well, Roberta, which are you? I'm a girl. I hope you're satisfied, Sergeant. You will let us know about the bracelet. Of course. Good day, Sergeant Williams. Now we shall have a look at the present Drake brought you. Do you have to go away? Take me with you. Do you have to go away? Do you have to go away? Do you have to go away? Go away, go away, go away, go away. Could you stop over there? Okay. Let's look at it together, shall we? Show it to me. Well? Open the box and show it to me. Open it! How revolting. How apt. Tell me, have you named your little friend yet? Drake. <laughs> How very appropriate. Do you know what we're going to do with him now? He's only a frog. Do we have to let him go too? No. Not this time. I'm sure this is going to teach you the lesson you need. Fetch me a knife from the drawer. Not that one, the big one. No one's going to take you away from here. I think when you see this, you'll decide that the best thing is to be a good girl. It's your fault, Roberta, that I do this. You forced me to it. Never forget that. No! <laughs> Naughty girl. Naughty. 
must be punished. Naughty, 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 must be punished. Bobby. Not Bobby, Roberta. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Drake, you came back. You came back to me. Yes, Bobby boy. I came back.